What's going on everybody? Afflicted Gamer here back with more H1Z1 content from the PS4. So we have our new update today, which is June the 14th. I'm going to go ahead and read off all of the bug fixes and stuff that we did get. So if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. It's much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more H1Z1 content. And let's go ahead and dive right into this. So they did a bunch of bug fixes and apparently we have a new uh, beast bundle. There's some new beast bundles that we can go ahead and pick up. All right, so in terms of bug fixes, players no longer occasionally spawn and parachute into the extreme edges of the map. Honestly, that happens to me nearly every match. I'm always at the edge or I'm always right at least at the edge of the fog. So cool. Happy about that one. Tapping the L1 button now always correctly quick switches weapons. Players will no longer occasionally be prevented from crouching after exiting a vehicle. Bullets from the M40, CNQ, and MK46 now correctly hit enemies through windows. Fix a couple of issues where loot could fall inside of walls or through the floors of military tents. That is a huge plus for me. Fixed a specific client crash caused by a memory leak. Not too sure what that is. Address one connection issue where players might uh, get stuck trying to enter a match. Kill, uh, fix kill, kill feed issues for ignited vehicles dying to the gas and falling to your death. Cleaned up the scout rifle reload animation when aiming down sights. When a player is killed in a vehicle, their loot bag will eject in a direction based on what seat they were in. Yes, that's not too bad of a fix. I wish that the explosion of uh, loot wouldn't be so big when, uh, when we loot a dead body, but hopefully they'll change that in the future. Players can now drop other ammo without needing to highlight a weapon slot. Nice. Bleeding screen effect no longer persists across games after logging out while bleeding. Never had that issue really anyways. Vehicle HUD no longer incorrectly displays that the vehicle is under EMP effect after the effect has expired. Correct buttons are now displayed when opening the radio menu, weapon or grenade wheel immediately after exiting a vehicle passenger seat. A lot of these I didn't really encounter any of them. If you guys did, please let me know in the comments below. When pressing R1 to throw to enter throw stance, the throwable name will no longer display in the HUD. Interesting, I didn't have that issue either. I do get stuck when I go to throw a grenade, which is a bit of a pain still. I'm not sure why, but if you guys are having that issue, let me know that as well. Whenever I go to throw something, I get stuck holding the grenade and I end up having to tap R1 quite a few times before it'll actually throw the grenade. Touchpad is now properly identified as world map in the settings. Beige suit jackets no longer drop in player loot bags. Okay, fix several minor bug or minor text bugs in the UI. All right, for our updates, all players from any region who made any PlayStation Store purchase and logged in prior to 4 p.m. PDT, 11 p.m. GMT on Thursday, June 14th, will receive the Green Dawn Riot Shotgun granted directly to their account as our way of saying thank you. A lot of people are saying that that's what people are getting for all of the issues with the Nemesis bundle. Not sure if that is, but any new skin, I welcome that. Players who complete the email opt-in form will now receive two victory crates once they've confirmed their email address. Players who provided and confirmed their email address previously before this update will automatically receive two victory crates as part of this update. I have done that, never had to verify my email address though, so I'm going to have to log in to see if I got that yet. A message of the day window has now been added to the main menu to let players know about events and sales, which that is really cool. And here is the new Beast Complete Bundle. Looks like we've got a helmet, a shotgun skin, another AR skin, and a uh, Jeep skin. Not too bad. Get your paws or claws on the three new bundles available for in-game purchase. The Red Dragon Pack, the Nico Chan Pack, and the all-inclusive Beast Complete Bundle featuring two new weapon skins, an off-roader skin, and a helmet. These items are perfect <laughs> for showing off your wild style. Purchasing any of these bundles grants you a crate that guarantees you all the items inside. 
I think that that would be a given and expected. Grab these new bundles by heading over to the store, then make sure to go to your customization section to open up your bundles and unleash your inner beast. So, I know a lot of people were talking about the Liberty Bundle. I actually made a video, but I haven't put it out yet. I'm not sure if I really want to, but you know what? The weapon skin alone on Steam is $150 Canadian, and we got the entire bundle for $35, bucks, which is crazy, so... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'll leave that for a separate topic. I honestly think that if you have the money and you like the skins, it's a free-to-play game. There's no harm in it. I think that that will kind of help, you know, enhance the longevity of the game. You know, it'll help fund the, fund it, help the developers and whatnot. So I'm not I'm not against it by any means. You know, if you like a skin, pick it up. If you don't, don't buy it. Simple as that. But anyways, guys, that is it for me. Those are the facts of uh, what we have with this update. I'm going to go ahead and try it out. And uh, make sure that you do sign up for the email. You might as well get yourself a couple of free crates if you haven't already. Other than that, don't forget to stay tuned for more H1Z1 news from the PS4 by subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video or in the next live stream.